Hello my YouTube friends, this is Democles Rocha and in today's video I will present to you a division. 3543 divided by 4. What do you get? Before we get started, I ask you to give us a thumbs up if you support this channel. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to get to know about our new videos. Let's get started. 3543 is our dividend. The value we will divide into four equal parts. Four is our divisor. It's important that we know the multiplication table of our divisor, which is four. So let's remind the multiplication table of four. Zero times four, zero. 1 times 4, 4, 2 times 4, 8, 3 times 4, 12, 4 times 4, 16, 5 times 4, 20, 6 times 4, 24, 7 times 4, 28, 8 times 4, 32, 9 times 4, 36. We start by looking at this first digit. It's a 3. Since 3 is smaller than 4, we do not start now. We join it, we group it with the next digit. So we get now 35. We start with 35. We ask the question, what number from 0 to 9 do we multiply by 4 to get 35 or almost 35, but not more than 35? You look at the multiplication table and then you say, Democles, 9 times 4 is 36, but that's greater than 35. So we will stay with 8, since 8 times 4 is only 32. So we write 8 here. In our quotient, since 8 times 4 equals 32, we write 32 below 35 and we subtract. 35 minus 32 equals 3, since 32 plus 3 equals 35. See, 32, 33, 34, 35. So, 3 here. After a subtraction, we always bring down the next digit. It's a 4. What number do we get now? 34. And then we ask the same question. What number from 0 to 9 do we multiply by 4 to get 34 or almost 34, but not more than 34? You look at the multiplication table and you notice that that number is going to be 8 again. Since 9 times 4 equals 36, that is greater than 34. We stay with 8 in our quotient. Since 8 times 4 equals 32, we write 32 below 34 and we subtract. Democritus, that's very easy. 34 minus 32 equals 2. Since 32 plus 2 equals 34. Very good. After a subtraction, we always bring down the next digit. It's a 3. So now we get 23. And we ask the same question. What number from 0 to 9 do we multiply by 4 to get 23 or almost 23 but not more than 23? You look at the multiplication table and you see that number is 5. Since 6 times 4 equals 24, which is greater than 23, we stay with 5. We write 5 here in our quotient. Since 5 times 4 equals 20, we write 20 below 23 and we subtract. You will say that 23 minus 20 equals 3. If we are dividing and we want to know the remainder 
in the quotient, we can say that 3543 divided by 4 equals 885 and the reminder is 3. But if you want to continue with this division, what do you do? You put a little dot here and since you do not have more digits to bring down, you will bring down zero from now on. You bring down zero, what number do you get now? 30. And then, since you brought down zero, you ask the question, what number from zero to nine do you multiply by four to get 30? Or almost 30, but not more than 30. You will see that number is seven since 7 times 4 equals 28. 7 times 4 equals 28. You write it here and you subtract. 30 minus 28 equals 2. Since you put the dot here, you don't have more digits to bring down. I said you should bring down 0. So bringing down 0, you get 20. And you ask the question, what number from 0 to 9 do you multiply by 4 to get 20 or almost 20 but not more than 20? That number you say is 5 because 5 times 4 equals 20. So you write 5 here, 5 times 4 equals 20, you write 20 here and then you subtract and 20 minus 20, 0. You have nothing more to divide. You can now say that 3,543 divided into four equal parts, each of these parts are equal to 885.75. For instance, if you have $3,543 and you want to divide into four equal parts, each part has the value 800 $85.75. If this video helped you, leave us a comment with a little smiley face. I will be happy to see it. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye.